Hi YouTube VOD watchers. Now, Twitch chat won't be here for another couple of seconds, but I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday. I won't be doing this intro ever again after this, so uh, skip forward, because I'm just gonna sit here and eat this sandwich and try not to laugh the entire time as my chat makes fun of me for eating a sandwich and looking like a complete bozo. The notification hasn't gone out yet. while to send out the notification. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everybody. I finished my sandwich. How we doing? Good to see you all. Wrong scene. Didn't mean to do that. That was chat on my dashboard. Ah, that was a pretty epic last bite. All right, that's it. That's the last peanut butter sandwich intro I'm doing. So what we're doing today, guys, is um, we are starting the highly requested region locked series of streams in the glowing sea i've actually downloaded a mod for this one so we'll be trying to build a settlement in the glowing sea a little bit different than usual we're actually using a mod 
So I have no clue how it's going to go. Because normally when you build a settlement in Fallout, you just scrap a bunch of stuff and you can start building. So I don't know. We'll see. It, it should be fun to go around and dig around the glowing sea to build a settlement as our goal. Imagine it's a little bit different. <clears throat> the glowing sea in Fallout 4 is one of the higher level areas with really difficult enemies and constant radiation. So it'll probably be really tough. It'll be a challenge. Even, even on just like normal difficulty, it'll be pretty tough. No, Roderick, we finished our sandwich. We finished. But as we normally do with these challenges, I hope you guys are buckled in for the game's intro because that's just how we do it on this channel. We always go through the intro together. It's a journey. I love Fallout, Shadow. Never <laughs> ask ask a casual what they think of Fallout if you've never played it before. Don't ask hardcore Fallout fans. <laughs> Cuz almost every single person I've talked to where like Fallout 4 is the only Fallout game they've played, they're like, oh dude, I love Fallout. It's awesome. You ask a Fallout fan, they're like, ah, fuck Fallout. You know what I mean? Why is my game so quiet? Too quiet. It's very quiet. I must have done that the last time we streamed Fallout 4. I wasn't the biggest fan of that recording. New game. Should we be Nate or Nora? So yeah, Majima, it's where we're going in the in game. It's a dangerous region, not a town, but we're going to try and build the town using the supplies in that region. I think we should play as Nora as well. We played as Nate last time. So if we're going to be uh, the mom of the city then we should be Nora also I need to I need to pull up OBS so I can record forgot about that part there we go We'll see, Scott. I, I really do. War never changes. I, I really struggle with the classic Fallout games. I have a tough time enjoying them. And I, I like CRPGs. So the rumor that the team that made Wasteland 3 and Wasteland 2 is going to be doing the Fallout 1 and 2 remasters has me very, very, very excited because Wasteland 3 is a fantastic game. And I've said they should take Wasteland 3 and... Give, give them the Fallout license to remaster the classics because the Wasteland team does a great job. And they're under the Xbox umbrella, like uh, My turn, big guy. where the Fallout IP is. No, we're not going to do... Survival's going to just make it not fun. And Melee, no. I mean, I'll use Melee if I need it, but Melee just doesn't... I don't know. That'd be a little boring. Okay, uh, I think we're just going to go with the basic Nora. I like Nora. We're going with Nora today. Newbie, you didn't miss a whole lot for part two of Forgotten Veil. Vale. There wasn't a whole lot there. Dominic, how are you? Hello. Hey, buddy. Look at him. I can't wait to ignore you, coochie coochie coo. I'm not coming to save you. I'm going to play around in a nuclear wasteland. Such a good mom. I'm a good mom in every single one of my videos. I'm tired of people telling me that I don't take care of my NPCs. I do a fantastic job. What's my opinion on D&D? &D? Never played. I would love to someday. I would. Do I still have peanut butter on my mouth? Good idea, Brandon. That's actually a really good idea. I will go for high endurance. Endurance is really good in Fallout 4. 
It's one of the better special stats. I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing here. Nate put really no effort into this outfit, man. Slacks and a plain white t-shirt. You really exp <laughs> At least Nora tries. Nice little picnic pattern shirt. Button up. And of course, I'm the one taking care of the kid. God. I can't believe you, Nate. I don't know if I'll melee a, a ton. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll melee a lot. I mean, we'll see. We'll have to adjust when we get down there. But I'm going to want to get a couple of charisma perks, I think. Right? Don't I need some charisma if I want to build a settlement? Uh, that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering me. Here we go. Get ready for the lip sync. Are you guys ready for the greatest lip sync of all time? Cheese, if you tell me to spawn one more NPC, I'm I'm going to ban you. <laughs> Vault -tech calling. No. No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling. We can craft ammo, right? You can't can we make ammo? Can you craft ammo in Fallout 4? I honestly don't remember. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, high high leverage situation here. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being um <laughs> a precious Okay, I shut up. Let's get this moving. Look, I It is pretty low. I'm really busy. How's that? Oh, course, Is that better? Of course. This won't take but a moment. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Need to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the I probably need to get good with uh, sneak. <laughs> Split. All right, let's do this. Mm, Nora, I will be my name will be Twitch chat stinks. Last time it was Twitch chat sucks. That's right. That's right. Shows you. Uh, I feel like agility will be good because I want to be able to sneak. Definitely going to go high endurance. I don't know if we should go all the way up, though. I mean, I'll level up a couple times. If I want to increase it again, I can increase it again later. Strength. Intelligence might be pretty good. Critical hits are going to be important. Oh, God, am I going to leave perception and charisma at one? I might have to. Or I could keep I could keep intelligence low to try and activate the idiot savant perk as much as possible. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go perception one, charisma one. That's what I'm going with. Wonderful. Um, we can adjust later. Again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. I forgot that the name pops up every time Nora talks. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to call me. Say my name, Codsworth. Twitch chat. Get out of the way then. All right, fine. I'll yeah, I'll make him I'll make him feel better cuz Nate doesn't want to do anything. He doesn't want to save this marriage. Can't wait till he gets shot. He isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy on his best behavior, just like his dad. Come on, Most you, you didn't do anything before getting in here. Listen, Why don't you go back in the living room and turn on Big Bang Theory? Weather should hold up. Doesn't he kind of looks like a Big Bang Theory guy? No yeah, offense to any Big Bang like Theory me. fans. Uh, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? 
I made it through it much faster this time than the last time we played Fallout 4. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of Get me out of here. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. Also, apparently this isn't the president. This is just a newscaster. Oh, no. We do, we do have... We do have... Coming in. That's... Um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear. Is it not actually the president? New York and I love Far Cry Three. My God, that's really the only one I played a whole lot. Far Cry Three was awesome, though. We need to get to the vault now. But like any Ubisoft title, whenever they make one awesome of anything, they have to follow it up with seven mediocre of that same thing. That's just how Ubisoft rolls. I'm just gonna outrun my son and child. See ya. No, <laughs> Nate, I'm gonna race you there. Last one there's an eggy, stinky poo poo head. <laughs> Damn, she's got wheels. <laughs> just leaving her child behind. Out of my way, officer. It's absurd. I am not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Get out of my way. Oh, damn, he's. I never noticed they spin up the uh, minigun to scare off the vault tech guy. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult. Oh, male, Blood Dragon, I want to play someday. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank Blood you. Dragon soundtrack is awesome. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep Don't worry about it, Nate. Just get inside before we all explode. Step on the platform in the center. Just leave them behind. We're overweight. We need to cut weight. Leave the baby. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! The guy who played Voss in uh, Far Cry 3, he's fantastic in Better Call Saul, which that's where that's where the sweater comes from. It's uh American Samoa University. Just got off your 11 hour shift. We did it. Nice work, Potatoes. That's tough. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs. This isn't as fun, though, as riding in the carriage. I like when we ride in the carriage together because I don't have to do anything. We just get to watch. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. How do you even speed run this intro? And I'm sure there's a strategy to speed run it. Follow me. It's gone. Our home. Everything we have. I am. My mother and father down in DC. Oh God, honey. Thank you, kind sir. Ben Jamins, how are you? Just checking everyone. Thank you very much. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. I hope you're doing well, Ben. How do we? Hey there. Hey there. Just Just hey there. And put your vault suit on. It's a little colloquial for the nuclear apocalypse. Valborg Day in Sweden. The pod will decontaminate and depress. Happy Valborg Day. Before we head deeper in the fall. That sounds like a Just villain. You are like a super villain. I am Valborg. Secure. Son of Scrygorn. Normal. Procedure complete. In five. Four, you know, I gotta say, as much as I've harped on Nate, he really is a good dad. And I hope I hope things turn out well for him. I'd be devastated if we lost him. I like this Nate character. I can't wait to live in the apocalypse with him. Uh oh. Nate? Nate. 
Nate, no! I love you, Nate. Every time. One of these days, he's gonna get out. Yeah, couldn't I just, like, knock on the window and be like... Could just knock on the window, right? And just be like, hey. Uh... That's my husband. Uh, can't we just talk this out, guys? What's going on? It should have been Sean. <laughs> it should have been Sean. How dare you. I'm excited to get this going, though. He is. Skyrim has low here. Fallout 4 has your spouse. Fallout New Vegas has uh, the guy who tries to get into the strip. You know, the guy who gets shot every time. I've seen one time he gets through the gate. It was on TikTok and it was absolutely incredible when I saw that clip. Okay, so am I able to... Oh, I have to get the uh, Pip-Boy first. All right, we're not going to collect any experience. Gosh, Nora. It's not that big of a deal. Relax, Nora. Let me check my difficulty real quick. Normal? That is the difficulty we are playing on. I'm not a good gamer. Nope, no loot. Can't take anything. Ow. Great, I'm already collecting rads and damage. Shit, ow, shit. Go. Gotta find the terminal. <laughs> They're all surrounding me. Just casually hop on the computer real quick. Yeah. I'm used to my feet being surrounded by cockroaches all day. I work on Wall Street. I can't do it while in combat? Damn it, I have to actually kill him. I tried to do it without collecting XP. Giant roaches. Holy shit. She's just now collecting the giant roaches are attacking her. I don't think any normal person could just recover like that and start boxing giant roaches. Can I use this one? I'm not in. Bastard. I would use my feet. I wouldn't start boxing. I would definitely use my feet. Morning, Scraps. Wait, the lottery guy gets killed by rad scorpions? Not the not the lottery guy. I was talking about in uh, New Vegas when you go onto the strip for the first time. Remember that guy? He just runs past security breach and all the robots turn and just blast him. Were you joking, Brandon? I don't think you were joking. I think you actually had cockroaches at your old place. Okay, so I need to find some sort of gun. Uh, the mod, what the mod does is it gives you a gun that, uh, gives you a gun that you shoot, and when you shoot that gun, it places a um, a workbench down, so you can just build a settlement right then and there. So I need to figure out exactly where it is again. I will use my handy dandy cellular device. Settlement Anywhere is the name of the mod. Settle Everywhere is the mod, not Settlement Anywhere.
It can be crafted for one cap at the chemist workbench. Is there a chemist workbench in... I'll just try and... I'll just console command it to myself. The real roaches were the friends we made, yes. All right, Nora. Gonna be difficult, but... First order of business when we get down there is to find some damn clothes. This is gonna be like the 15th video on my channel in a row where I've been naked at some point. Should be fly start. I'm, I'm pretty excited. We're just now getting out of the vault. It only took 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to save my game right here. I need to figure out what the COC location is. I did. I threw away. I threw away the vault suit because we have to start with nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid, sexy Nora. All right, let's see if this works. We will be starting at the edge of the glowing sea. Fingers crossed we don't die immediately. I have a feeling we're going to die quite a little bit. Aleza, how are you? Okay, that's already a lot of radiation. I mean, it's moving quickly. I'm gonna have to find something. Oh my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be dead. Float fly, um. Why do I have horns? What was in my forehead? I don't remember the controls. It's Q. Q is that. I keep using E. All right, good start. We'll take some XP right off the bat and some food. Anything to heal. Oh, crap. I don't have enough time to look for that other bloat fly. Now, the edge of the glowing sea is right here. All right. Luckily, okay, we're not getting radiation anymore. <laughs> That's good. We'll get some as soon as we get into the glowing sea, though. And once we're in, we are not, we are not leaving. This is a good point to give myself a save, though. Now, I need to find a chemist workbench at some point. Otherwise, I can... You know, a workshop gun, I believe it's called. See if I can just give it to myself. It should be in weapon. Da, 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 w. Okay, I guess it doesn't want to show up. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Zero seven zero zero zero. F nine B. Okay. <clears throat> There we go. All right, we got the workshop spawner. I'm not sure what kind of ammo it takes, and we're back to getting radiation. This is beautiful. I need drugs ASAP. Okay, I'm going to avoid those guys. I guess I could try to aim my uh, 
spawner somewhere where there's like trees around. Oh shit. Oh, great start. Fantastic start, Nora. You're gonna have to get going. Okay, I need something to kill that red scorpion for me. Oh, he just like, he just wants to continue getting closer. Okay, all right, fantastic. Okay, okay, yeah, we're still doing this. There's a vault over here, should I just go right in? Oh shit, there's raiders. Okay, can I get the red scorpion to attack the raiders? Let's, uh, eh, this is stressful. I'm just gonna run right through. Come after me, Riot Scorpion. Oh, they're gunners. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this is all terrible. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, good start so far. Good start. Hey, you know what? At least we're halfway to level one or level two. Did I at least save when I gave myself the... No, I did not. Alright, I'm gonna go the other direction. There's like a church over here. Let's run over to this church. Gotta see. Oh, 11? Real? Okay, yeah, we're, we're bumping 10 rads a second now. This might actually be impossible. just get to this church I think we're, we're pretty much in the thick of the glowing sea now at this point oh yeah oh we're in here now what if I take my workshop spawner I mean first off we should make sure it doesn't crash the game Alright, now we can build, or scrap things. No, we can't scrap anything, so I have to find all the loot to build my structures on my own. But I'm already about to die. Okay, screw it, I gotta get inside the school. The church. Never mind. Oh no. Uh, okay, that's a lot of feral ghouls. Hey, didn't mean to go, just kill me. <laughs> Go, Nora. Go, Nora. Don't. Don't. Don't submit. Don't submit, Nora. Ah, crap. How you doing, Mr. Boom? Delph, how are you? Oh, I set myself all the way back here. Okay, so the church, not a good place. The vault, also scary. Somehow I have to find Radway immediately. Is Virgil's cave over here? If I can get into Virgil's cave, we might be okay. That might be the safest spot. Just make sure, check the map. Yeah, no, if we go to this cave, we are definitely in the glowing sea. I'm not really sure what our boundaries will be. Uh, okay, all right, nice and slow now, <laughs> nice and slow. Let's not attract any attention to ourselves here. Okay, little cave. It's gonna be friendly. See, it's just called cave. There won't be anything too bad in here. Gross water, not a big deal. Lots of radiation, but I think glowing fungus might actually help us. Never mind, it just gives us more radiation. Oh, I'm dying quickly now. I probably shouldn't come in here. Yeah, this isn't going too well. Okay, <laughs> crawl forward, Nora. Oh my God, she's convulsing. That was a lot of radiation. 
power armor in the gas station? Note taken. Okay, so let's not go that way. Let's just avoid the death claw entirely. Yeah, finding, uh, finding a spot is going to be the hardest part. This might be Virgil's cave this way, but I'm running short on time on getting in there. And the rads are just getting more and more intense as I get closer. I have to get to level two and get some sort of rad resistance perk. That's perk number one. We have to get his rad resistance. No, not survival. Survival would make this pretty unfun. It's, I just think it would be too hard. Eh, that's a rad scorpion. I don't know if I can make it to his cave. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not gonna make it. I'm actually not gonna make it to the damn cave. Oh my god. In terms of survival strategy, this might be the worst place to start. That's where I was before. Uh, if I go back to my quick save. Can I, 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 it's actually amazing to me that I can't run through the glowing sea without dying. I guess I gotta go for it. If I cut out the time that it took to go towards that first cave, maybe I can get to Virgil's place in time. So long as I just don't get attacked by anything and avoid all confrontation. Come on, Nora. You might get some blisters on your feet, but it'll be worth it. We'll be home free soon. Also, I should probably avoid the lava. Is that even lava? Or is it just so irradiated that it looks like Cheetos? It's Cheeto water. That was my favorite beverage as a kid. I grew up on Cheeto water. Yes, okay, we avoided it. All right, I can see the cave. Oh, no. Where do you get off? Where do you get the audacity? Oh, no, 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 no. Woo! Go, Nora! Come on, give me my points back. Ah! Shit, oh my god, he launched me out of a cannon. Possible to move the eight. Oh, you guys can't see it. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to think about it. I'm not sure. What if I? That's actually a good call. Okay, hold on. What if I do this? What if I just move myself up? I'll just. I'll just move myself up a little bit. Put myself right here. And I'll go a little bit smaller. Right there. Is that better? You guys can see the health and the radiation that I'm getting now. Jacob, how are you? Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Appreciate you watching the channel. I assume you came from the channel on YouTube. If you did come from there, thank you. Thank you for watching. Yeah, now you guys can get a little bit more of a sense of the timeline that I'm dealing with. I have to avoid, I gotta avoid that uh, red scorpion. But I think if I take a similar route to what I was taking before, I should be able to. It's a battle right now of getting my sprint back and not dying of radiation. But at least I can see the marker of the cave. So going directly south from the bridge. Come on. Okay, there's one right there. I remember running into him before. Let's get our sprint back before he jumps us because I don't know if we can avoid him. 
Yeah, we're not gonna avoid him. We're just gonna go for it. Oh, he's coming. Come on, Nora. Is this it? Is this it? Power armor! This might have been a dumb decision. Go! <laughs> Run! <laughs> this power armor might have saved us. We have to find some sort of healing, though. Oh, that's just a cave. It's a regular old cave. But the power armor is keeping us alive for sure. We're definitely still getting radiation, but we're resisting a little bit. I already look like a zombie. My pit boy's telling me, yeah, you might be fucked. Southwest? Someone said southwest of Crater. So you're saying like over here is where Virgil might be at. Oh, God. Okay, let's not, <laughs> let's not bother Mr. Deathclaw. No, no, no. This giant hulking beast of armor is not your enemy. I am your friend. Wrong button. Wrong button. Sprint. Okay, cave, 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 cave. Gotta be something out here. All right, all right. They got distracted. They're fighting each other. That's good. I'm at about 5% health now. Am I covering up the health? West. Gotta go west. Look, I mean, I'm gonna give myself a checkpoint here and save, but we're probably gonna have to start from scratch again. More red scorpions. That's not good. He's gonna attack me, and I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm screwed. Okay, all right. He seems to be afraid of the armor. The armor seems to be an effective deterrent. I guess I'm just gonna go into this giant technology triangle. I didn't know that the first pyramids were built in Boston. <laughs> Today I learned. Oh, thank God. Okay, some breathing room. All right, we got some breathing room. Do we need to look up a map? Uh, maybe not right now. I, I like just kind of playing it by ear. It's gotta be something in here for me though. All right, well, it looks like they're very welcoming me. See, they put on the giant orange welcome alarms. <laughs> New visitor detected. Everybody say hello kindly. You are all too kind. Right? This is a bit creepy. Now, it feels eerie to be in here, but at least I saved myself. Are there ghouls in here? I believe there are. There's definitely going to be enemies. But I'm not too concerned about that right now. Any kind of loot is pretty important. Anything that we can use to build once we get outside. How do I turn off this base? Astoundingly awesome tails. Plus five radiation resistance. Okay. All right. That's a plus. Sentinel sight blast door override. Solid tape can only be executed on Sentinel sight Prescott blast door control terminals. I assume that's this door. I don't want to go too much farther in this place, though. So I'll give myself a save in here. We got ourselves a rad resistance perk, which is huge. That much I love, but what I need right now is rad away. I've got to find something to help me out with the rads. Some basic crafting materials. Oh, this is a very sticky situation, but if we get out of here, this could be pretty cool. Okay, there are ghouls. Got ghouls right there. They just woke up. No? Okay, I thought they woke up. Gotta be able to find something in here without waking up the ghouls. Huh? 
on, there's gotta be right away. There's gotta be a medic box or something in here. Okay, chem station. This could actually be pretty useful. If I need a chem station at some point. I swear I keep hearing things crawling around. I mean if I if I start one fight, I'm completely screwed. I'm trying my best to just completely avoid that for now. I only had a bobby pin. No lock picks either. Okay, so I need to get a bobby pin as well. The only feral ghouls I see are like the two or three that are right over there. But I doubt I can get much farther in this place without running into enemies. Okay. So far, so good. Are there any kind of turrets that I can activate? Abort launch sequence. I thought that would turn off. I thought that would at least... Oh, it did. Okay, that turned off the annoying alarm. So we got that turned off. Boston Globe folder. I just keep finding junk items. Bobby pin. All right, we got the bobby pins. So let's go back and at the very least, let's get that grenade box. Because if there's landmines in there, we could set up a trap for the feral ghouls in here. If we're able to be resourceful enough to clear this place of feral ghouls, we have at least a home base. Got it. Okay, right away. Whew. That's huge. That is massive. We needed right away so bad. We needed we needed right away so 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 bad. That puts our max health at thirty percent. This is such a change to the formula of region locking. This is way different than what we've done before. Yeah, now we need to get some health back. We've got our power armor. We've got our red resistance perk that we got from the magazine. We need to find something more, though. I'm fine with quick saving. I've given myself enough uh, stable saves or hard saves. But out here, this is the danger zone. There's a wooden crate right here. Let's see if we can grab it. Okay, Rad X. So next time I go outside, I at least have Rad X for me. That's pretty good. I can probably get by with the health that I have using Rad X and, um, you know, Rad X combined with my resistance and everything else. It's just the Feral Ghouls on that side. I also need to be aware of my power armor's battery life. So while I'm in here... Shit, what was that? Did I do something? Okay. Let's hop out of the power armor to explore. Try not to run out of anything else. That's how close... Look at my health. That's how close we were to dying. More Rad X. Uh oh. Uh oh. I wasn't expecting the elevator to work. Okay, this is right. This is just the way that we came in. There's got to be more to this place. There's a little toolbox over there. Maybe there's something in there that can help us. Another rat away. All right, we got rid of uh, two thirds of our radiation. Bloody fantastic. 
Under glue, scissors. Nothing substantial. I could see what kind of recipes I have available at the at the chem station. But I'm really not sure. Is there a vendor at the crater? Like a robot vendor? Because if there is, then that's really, really nice. I haven't explored the glowing sea in years. So I'm kind of just going in blind. Whoa, why did I miss this? Stimpak, Radax, purified water. Oh, yes. This door wasn't open at first. Okay, that helps us out a ton. We at, we at least have enough to go out and explore again and have a decent amount of time to get around. We've got the power armor. We've got our rad X. We got the magazine. Sentinel side press count, blast door override. Override, close doors. No, oh, we've already opened the doors. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, doctor. Still the problem with those feral ghouls. And there's that door down there. So I could jump down to try and go through there. I keep hearing footsteps. I'm not sure if it's me or something else. Let's see what we can at least craft right now. I can make stim packs. Okay, so if I find some blood packs, I'll be able to make stim packs. And if I go out, I can get a lot of glowing fungus from the outside, but purified water is going to be tough to find. I guess if I'm able to get dirty water and collect dirty water. That could be... Ooh, here we go. Mute fruit. I always thought it was mutt fruit. Apparently it's mute fruit. The more you know. All right, we're in a much better spot than we were before this place. I'm genuinely surprised we were able to kind of get it back together. What's through that door over there? That's what I'm curious about. Could I take out the... What kind of feral ghouls are they? Basic feral ghoul. Roamer. It's only two. The roamer is going to be a problem for sure. I might just quick save and see what the melee of the power armor can do to the roamer. I have a feeling it'll destroy me, but we'll have to see. In survival, you can collect dirty water and turn it into purified water. I don't know if you can do that not in survival. I don't know. Let's just see how power armor boxing works. Can we get our first actual kills and get close to a level up? Ooh. Okay, it's just a mole rat. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. There we go. Welcome to fight night. Look, I can't hit the red. Oh, there's a lot going on. Wait, they're fighting each other. Okay, he's distracted. Let's fight him. Yes! Come on, nothing else. Nothing else. And we only lost 10 health there. Armor seems to be in relatively good shape. Hopefully we can get something good off of these dead bodies. Bottle caps. Here we go. Clothes? Child of Adam, short green rags. Well, hey, we found clothes. Objective one complete. We actually have... And it... Wait. No way. Hold on. These rags come with rad resistance. A lot of it, too. That's huge. Fuck out of here. What do you think this is? Huh? Who do you think you are? I am. circuit board and I'm really not sure how valuable any of this stuff is at all 
nothing back here. I have to scour this place. Every inch of this place, I will scour. Hit the nuke. Will it actually explode if I punch it? No, but it does kind of make a... Never mind. I was thinking it made a unique noise. Makes the same noise as everything else. Right, that's what kind of makes this uh, this run fun right now. Everything feels really valuable. Oh, God. Bring it on. Insert, insert doom music. We gotta level up, that's big. Okay, there's a feral ghoul stalker. Can use the critical on him. Bring it on, bitches! Come on! This is my pyramid. This is my solo silo. Solo silo. I lost some of my armor though, but it was worth it. I had to get through that fight. I had to clear it as much as I can. Plus that XP is valuable. All right, we got to level up. Now, comes down to what do we use? What perk do we want to pick? Toughness would be nice right away. Less radiation from eating and drinking would be pretty valuable. Instantly level up our health. Less addicted to chems. No longer take radiation damage from swimming. Instantly gain plus 10 radiation resistance. Cannibal. Cannibal won't be too bad. Cannibal isn't too bad. I have to think about right now in this moment, because I won't be level 3 for quite a while. If I take Cannibal now, I can heal pretty effectively just by eating the Feral Ghouls, right? Let's just, let's try. I guess I'm locked in here. I gotta make a... No, I don't have to make a choice yet. Let's just see if we can eat Feral Ghouls. And heal up that way. I'm gonna leave my suit of death armor. Okay, can't eat feral ghouls. <clears throat> Definitely not gonna use that perk then. At level two, you can. Savant would be really good as well. And, and Savant is a perk that pays off, right? The earlier you take idiot Savant, the faster it pays off. I can get to level three. I'll hit level three fairly quickly. I don't know how much XP there is for me to get, though. Oh, wait, what? It saved after I picked the perk. I gotta load the save from before it. <clears throat> My intelligence is pretty low too, so Savant is going to hit. <clears throat> Let's take Savant. Hopefully it hits. If there's another big fight coming up, I could save before the fight. Actually, all that food was really good for my health. Healed me a ton. Like, if I come up against a really tough feral ghoul, I could reload and do the fight multiple times until Idiot Savant hits. Like this guy. Didn't 
didn't work. Now, is it worth going back and redoing that fight until it hits? I, I think it is, especially at this low of a level. I think going back and doing that fight. Lily, how are you? My strength is pretty high. I don't know what uh, level strength you need, though, for that perk. Come on, we're gonna get this to activate. It's gonna work. We're gonna get it to activate. We'll get 100 XP for one kill, or what'll it be, like 80-ish for killing this first guy? it work i just want the xp bonus and i'm going after that first guy first uh the chance is fairly high because i have two intelligence the lower your intelligence the higher of a chance you have for idiot savant to work i'm just gonna kill the first guy each time he's worth like four times as much xp as the other guys so I need it to activate on that first kill. There we go. 70 XP. I just wanted to save up for that critical hit. So now we have a critical hit in store. That could come in handy. More rags. Sorry, child of Adam. I guess I am one. I guess I am a child of Adam. That's my new, that's my new group. 10% chance. That's pretty good. What is it at one intelligence? I would say 15%. That's my guess. But I mean, look, we went from here all the way. We're now over halfway. We're over halfway. Oh, it's only 11%. All right, there's definitely going to be more fights in here. I'm at 50% battery. There's going to be a lot of them in here. Okay, I have to get it. I have to reload on this kill because it's an automatic kill. It is an automatic kill. Yeah, Desmond, we did. We finished the tutorial. Uh, it, it's an automatic kill to take this guy out. He's not moving. I can get a free power attack on him. We're just going to go for it until we get it to activate. And it's a roamer, so that's another... 70 percent or 70 xp which is huge for us right now i need to come out of this bunker with at least one to two more rad resistance perks or anything health related it'll work oh that guy's only worth 14 xp so maybe it's not worth it on this guy but it is an easy kill Stalker. This is the one that we want the bonus on. Yeah, that's the one we want the bonus on. The Stalker. But, okay, we have a stim pack and we have Radex coming into this fight. So this could be a fairly easy fight. 
probably, but I I'm going with just like the basic power attack on him. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so he's dead. This is the one we want. Damn it, I really wish it would land. Nothing. Nothing on any of them. This is gonna pay off though. This is gonna be worth it. Dickhead really doesn't want it to activate. Come on now. Give me that XP boost. Getting a little frustrated. Although, we've done dumber grinds before on this channel, right? This is far from the dumbest thing we've attempted. In terms of trying to cheese a game. I don't want to save scum to get all of them. That would just get really, really boring. Although, I'm not sure how many more st uh, feral, ghouls are, feral ghouls are left in this bunker. There it is. Come on, activate. Let me get lucky. Bastard, give me another one. God, he's walking around with a hand crotch. What is that? <laughs> it's disgusting. Get out of the corner. Yes, we got it twice. All right, we're going to be level three after the next kill. Regardless, we're level three after the next kill. Need a little bit of luck. Definitely need a little bit of luck. And we got some meds here. Another free stim pack, some rad X. We have plenty of rad X for when we eventually leave this bunker. And we're one kill away from level three. Which we desperately need. Just under 50% battery left in this core. That also makes me nervous. I really do not want to run out. Or hopefully I can find another fusion core in here. I have to, it's a nuclear base. There has to be a fusion core. Plenty of junk in here. At least enough junk so that when we start our base, we could possibly do something. I have no clue where that's going to take us. Can I open this door? No. I really hope that wasn't it. If I end up one kill away from getting to level three. Ah, oh, shit. already gonna uh, can I even beat this fight I can try and take out his legs not even at half health I'm so close to dying. Mute fruit, cram, pork and beans. I'm just gonna take all the food I can. You've got him stumbling quite a bit. Yes! Oh my God, and we got that. Yes, we got it to activate. Oh my God, okay. Huge, massive, unbelievable victory. God, we needed that. We had to go through a lot of our healing items. Oh, you're right, he might explode.
Bloody fantastic. Okay, he did not explode. I also didn't realize that chat was covering up the uh, notification. Sorry about that. Uh, we're not going without guns, Shark. We just haven't found any guns yet. We have not. We just haven't found any guns. All right, level three. Yes. Oh, that was huge, guys. I'm pumped. I'm really excited now. <sighs> so, I, I think I have to take rad resistant naturally. Everything is giving me radiation. I have to give myself some natural protection when I get out of the vault. At some point, I'm going to run out of battery in this thing. There's a loot chest right here. Come on, give us something better than a pipe rifle. Pipe revolver rifle. But we also got some armor in there, but I don't think that the armor can go on top of our... <clears throat> um, I don't think that the armor we picked up can go on top of our children of Adam outfit, which gives us plus 25. We have a lot of rad X. I could have gone with life giver. Oh no, glowing sea. I'm not ready to leave yet. I'm not ready to leave yet. I'm not ready to leave yet. So I think we've gone through everything in this place. We've burned through everything here. Ammo is going to be a problem. Where? Here, let, let's, let me at least quick save. Let me at least just save my game here. We'll get a hard save. And let me check the map. Okay, Sentinel site is right here. I don't think that the Radex I took has worn off. Radiated blood gives me 50 plus 50 health. I mean, I'm at max health. It's a good thing. That broke. Cannot equip all in power armor. Where should we put the workshop? with that. I gotta use the ammo at some point. Uh, uh. Uh, no. Nah, I screwed that up. I just took on way too much radiation right off the start for no reason. Don't like that at all. What is that light over there? At least we got a fighting chance, you know? Damn, these bastards have a lot of health. Damn, okay. The blood bugs are not messing around. All right. Well, that feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> We're already dead. Guess I could just go the other way, try and avoid the blood bugs altogether. I keep hitting V, which just goes into third person instead of Q for vats. Because of, uh, because of New Vegas. Oh, great. Fantastic. These giant scorpions over here. That's fun. How much damage can I do to it? None. <laughs> None. I really wasted that critical hit, didn't I? Well, let's just watch ourselves die in slow motion. We might as well. Let's just soak it in. Let's appreciate it. Ow. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, we got him on the ropes. I'm Mike Tyson. Come on, bastard. Woo. Come on, block it. Block it. You know what that means? You know what that means? 
we have the physical advantage against rad scorpions as long as we can get it one on one which means if we can get it one on one we can get triple xp from it which i absolutely intend to try and get I'm almost down to 25% though with my cores. That is terrifying me. So I have to get as much out of this suit as I can before it dies. Come on, keep stumbling. Just don't get too close to your friend over there. I don't want him joining the fight anytime soon. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, good news, we can take out a rad scorpion. Bad news, I really want to get triple XP from it. And there's two of them here. That's bad, that's bad. Ah, his friend's here. I don't think I can take on two at once. He's about to back up into his buddy. That is the opposite of what I need right now. I can't be taking on two at once. Come on. This is an unfair, unsanctioned boxing match. Play by the rules, boys. Ah, oh, shit. That one's a hunter. Ooh, I am dead. They keep poisoning me as well. This one keeps stumbling so far. And it uses a lot of my core to use vats. Damn it. Oh, two in a row, two in a row, no way. Oh man, this is tough. And I have to refight that first one again. Good grief. This is turning into a little bit more of a grind than I expected. I know I can at least take out the first two. The Hunter, different story. It attacks a little bit faster, more aggressively. We could just try and aggro this first one. Come here. Come here, little buddy. Cannot go there. Oh, I'm at, I'm at the edge of the map right now. How did I miss this? There's an entire army of feral ghouls right here. This is not good. <laughs> Reaver, Roamer. Reavers are the bad ones. These are the ones that'll rock my shit. Well, here we go. Buckle up. This is the Super Bowl. One at a time. One at a time. I said one at a time, but I'm more like five at a time. Okay, two down. Stalker, roamer, another reaver. Let's focus on the roamer. Oh, what the fuck was that? Stop canceling the damn animation. <laughs> I'm getting hosed here. Oh 
Oh man. We actually didn't do too bad there. We actually really did not do too bad there. I have to fight the damn red scorpion again. The red scorpion's good to fight because it gives me uh it's it's food. It's it's meat. Heals for a ton. worth it to take out the red scorpion first okay what I'm gonna do let's build up a critical hit why is that not working that's actually really just that's really fucking frustrating right now it's canceled my vats animation like nine times now the feral ghouls are gone what the hell, gentlemen? I wanted a fair rematch, and you won't even give me that. Bastards. All right, I'm gonna quick save after that first fight. What are we at now? 25%? Yeah, I know, I know the fusion core is low. Don't worry, it's stressing me out too, game. You don't gotta remind me. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh, here we go. Now I'm fucked. Start with the reaver. Wait till he gets close enough to punch him and... There's gotta be a better way out of this. I'm not even close to level four. Right around that corner is where the feral ghouls are. That's how we got into the sentinel site. Is Virgil's cave anywhere nearby? Virgil's cave might be somewhere over here. So I could try, let's just try and go west. Screw it, let's just see what happens. We might as well just try. Kelny, how are you? Yeah, Teddy Bear, that's a that's actually a pretty good idea. Take one, maybe, I guess I could take out one with the gun. I don't know how much damage it would do. But I think avoiding that fight for now might be my best play. Favorite streamer? Really? I am well, thank you. I hope you're doing all right. Scorpions over there. I'm just using this life to explore. See where it can take me. Apparently this asshole wants to fight me. I got the time. I got the time today. Fuck. What? What? <laughs> Why? What? Ha Did I just kill it by landing on it? What's going on? <laughs> Where do I go? I'm in the vortex. Wait, I'm doing damage by landing on it. Okay, it's dead. And we can fast travel. <laughs> we got out of there. <laughs> it just works. We killed it by landing on its head repeatedly and uh, it just works, except I'm getting a lot of radiation here. I gotta move. I'm super low on health, but I don't know why, it just decided, there we go, something, you know what, something had to give. Alright, I was losing so much, uh, I was losing a lot of health, it was bad, I was losing hope, something had to go my way, and I was losing all of my VATS attacks, none of my VATS attacks were working. Oh yeah, I'm, t I'm taking that XP and running to the bank, I am not... I have no plans on trying to uh, cheese that again. So now I'm just gonna keep this quick save as the exploration. Try to find another... Oh my god, there's more of you pricks? Keep him at bay. Gotta keep him at bay. 40 health. 
Fuck off. Dick. Come on. Suck it. Uh. Don't, just don't do the thing again. Oh my god, it's still taking my vest attacks from me. Oh, alright. Another double team staved off. Oh no, my core is about gone. I am, I'm out. I'm out of energy. I don't really need to heal yet. I'm gonna give myself a hard save here, just in case that fight completely screws me. I don't want to use quick save right now. I have to keep that quick save from before the fight. A factory over here. I don't know what this irradiation little symbol is. You see that radiation map? You bought Skyrim? Oh, I'm gonna have to reach out to Bethesda. I need royalties on that purchase. How are you enjoying it? I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the channel. Uh, no, don't tell me. Guys, we can't keep doing this. Respect the battery life of my two of them oh no that stinger attack is brutal Doing less and less damage. Oh no. God. God help me. Radix worn off. Already down to one Radix left. Why is this fight so much harder? Idiot Savant, I've never needed you more than I need you now. That's my last heal. This is tough. This is really, really tough. Can't use sprint. Sprint takes up my battery. Can't get involved in another fight with these guys. No more red scorpions, please. Please, no more red scorpions. I beg of you. I, 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 there is one request I have, Todd. I know you don't like how I play your games, all right? I think we've come to that conclusion already, but just... Be a homie for once, man. Let me get to whatever this location is, and don't give me any more damn rad scorpions. Pool, I'm trying to win. I'm trying. Uh, we've ran into one death claw, but we were able to avoid it. It didn't attack or anything. Come on, get me up the mountain. I would much rather go around or above and over this mountain than through whatever that gunk is. What is this place? I see lights. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the settlement? Yes, this is where the children of Adam are. My people. I found my home. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. How are you? Hey. Good to see you, brother. How are you, Foster? Oh, I forgot that there were people here. All right, I need to get inside. Word of Adam's glory must be spread to all. Yes, 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 glory and all to Adam. Please, I love you all very much. You approach Adam's Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Holy ground, uh, passing through. I'm just passing through. Don't want any trouble. This is no place that the forsaken or untouched merely pass through. You are here for a purpose. Ma'am, I'm down for whatever religion you got, as long as you can get me some supplies and save me. There 
wouldn't be a place I could resupply around here, would there? Hmm. You may seek Brother Ogden. He should have some provisions on offer. For a price. <sighs> Thank you. Bless Adam. I'm here to worship Adam. Just like you. If that is true, then you may stay. But know that if your heart is false, no. Adam will see. Ma'am, I am I am here for Adam all day. Uh What a time, what a time for me to completely run out of power. I should be able to steal enough supplies from these guys though. How do I get in here? Where's the main entrance? Is there a main entrance? In the end, we are all Adam's children. A little bit more radiation here than I'm comfortable with. My timer is ticking. The deceiver, the defiler. Only in Adam can you be saved. I need right away. So bad. I don't care if I have to steal it. You guys have to have right away somewhere. Is there an All interior to this place? Well. Or is this it? Or is it something more? Do you have a moment? What do you need of me, child? How have you survived in all this radiation? That is Adam's unique gift to us. The true bird. All right. <laughs> you want to teach me? He brought us here to this place. A place that cannot harm us. So that we may worship him. So that we may spread his word to us. I'm others. running out of time here. This is our calling. To deliver Adam's message to a world that does not wish to... Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm actually dying mid-conversation with her. <laughs> my, my screen started pulsing. Word of Adam's glory okay, he doesn't sell stuff. <clears throat> Morana, she won't sell anything. This place could have just made everything worse. Adam's chosen must bring judgment to his enemies. Hi. The world will see Adam's glory again. May the glow of Adam guide your path. Okay, get out of my way. Jet... It doesn't work. They're not going to have Radaway because they love radiation. I'm going to die here. I thought you were my saviors. You're going to get me killed. Got about 30 seconds left. Do I, have my, I don't have my coffee right now. If you are in need, then it is my place to aid you. At cost, of course. I'll take a look. Sure. Very well. I was able to find 118 caps, which is okay. Okay, he has 268 for Radaway. The markup here is ridiculous. Okay, how many can I buy? I guess I don't need ammo right now. Oh no. I really don't know what to do. This is tough. I have to get at least one rat away from him. All those seeking Adam are welcome. Or is it something more tangible? Yo, the longer you talk, the less chance you have of actually making a deal with me, because I'll be dead before it goes through. As you wish. Two hundred and sixty-eight for Radway. Oh my God! Come on, please. Yeah, how do they have hair? Well, the thing is, if I kill him, will he actually lose his whole inventory? You can pickpocket like in Skyrim, but I don't know if he'll have his whole trading inventory. And he buys my stuff for pennies. I've got almost nothing. It's all a magazine, a subway token, a folder, a 
I could just start selling him my junk, but I, I don't want to get rid of the junk because I feel like I'll need it. Need rates, uh, mole rat stingers, sure. I guess, you know, I have to prioritize survival. I gotta stay alive, but I, I, I won't be able to live for that long. And we're down to 17 caps. Beautiful. We live to die another day. Barely. Barely. The good thing about Fallout is that anything I steal in here without getting caught, I should be able to sell back to this guy. Look at how much that didn't do for me. I paid one rad away to just start with the same rads that I came to this fucked up town with. I don't have enough power for my suit. Uh-oh. They not care? None will escape the great divide. Yeah, cool, cool. I gotta rob you guys as fast as possible. And can't take anything from there. Uh oh. May the glow of Adam guide your path. Yes, yeah, glory and all to Adam. Love that guy. Seems like a real nice chat. A real nice fella. Why did I say Chet? He was like a real nice Chet. I will count the bodies of the heretics I have burned. Hey. If you are in need, then it I is my place to aid you. At cost, of course. Sure. Let's take a look. As you wish. This is brutal. Could you imagine this on survival? Still 268? You won't you won't lower your prices for a friend, man? I mean, at least we're able to just get rid of some of the stuff that we stole from them. At the very least, but I'm not going to be able to get right away from him. We have to rethink this whole thing. Okay. Need to rethink it. I can go back to that bunker that I was at. But the bunker is just surrounded by crap that I don't want to deal with. I'm dead. I'm not getting out of here. My power armor suit is dead. <laughs> Look at my health. Everything is just terrible. We've got the Crater of Adam. People are saying to the west is Virgil's place. And that, by, that might be my try, is to try and find Virgil's place. The great divide. So screw it. If I die, I die. Rud, Nora. You're on borrowed time, girl. There's a building right over here. We can get to this building. Possibly it could be useful. I don't know. Oh, no, this is north. I need to be going west. West and south. I'm toast. My radiation level is now back to where it was when I bought and spent all that money on Ranaway. That's how bad it's gotten. Deathclaw outside of Virgil's cave? I'm not scared. You're right, the rads are great for cardio. They make breathing harder. So my labored breathing, you know, it's like wearing that mask. Uh, you know, the workout uh, mask. Damn, is it further south? 
I took a bad route. I'm gonna have to go back to my save right before I started stealing all the stuff from their camp and then make this run. And there goes my Rad X, that's it. Rad X is gone, game over. I was feeling so positive when I came out of that cave. So positive. Oh, great. A putrid glowing one. Who would have thought that this would be difficult? There's his cave. His cave is right over here. Run, Nora. <laughs> what do we have? 20 seconds and I'm dead? Less than? I'm done. Okay, if I can go back to my save right after I took the drugs, which I think is right here. I might have enough time. Okay, yeah, it is right after I took it. Let's try a different path. I can take a more direct path. I also took a bad path to get the Virgil's cave, so that probably affected it. We're gonna leave our power armor back there. We can always fast travel to go get it later. There it is. Okay, I already spot his cave on the compass, so we might be able to get there. Chaos, how are you? I'll tell you what, this is much more interesting. This challenge is A, more of a challenge than Diamond City, and B, it, it plays more into Fallout 4's gameplay loop. Fuck me. God damn it. This sucks so much. But it's actually fun and challenging. No problem, Kelmy. I'm glad you enjoy. Thank you so much. Appreciate the kind words. Thank you for watching. Ah, uh, this is. But uh, you know, this this, it's it's much harder, obviously, than you know just hanging out in Diamond City. But it plays way more into Fallout 4's gameplay and gameplay loop than Diamond City did. And that's what makes this a lot more engaging and fun. This is genuinely really tough though. But that's what I like about this one is this is a real kind of challenge that together we have to just figure out what the best route is. Because already I'm thinking to myself, man, if I started this over from the beginning, there's already a few things that I would change. But I think so far, we've done an okay job. All right, we're about to be at the cave. Please be a safe spot. I really need this cave to be safe. We also just about got attacked. No radiation. Is that a friendly turret? Please don't kill me, Mr. Turret. Hi, hi. Lonely outsider who's scared of death. You have no clue how happy I am to be here. <laughs> I am so happy to be here. Protect and swerve. Is Virgil not here? He's not here. If Virgil's not here, then I have a free home base. Okay. All right, what do you got here for me, Virgil? You got purified water. As long as I don't get caught taking it. Is the robot gonna kill me? Stealth boy. More drugs, are those drugs? Yes, they are drugs. Can't reach them though. All right, we say we have some breathing room. Tesla science, energy weapons permanently inflict 5% critical damage more. Not bad. But what I really want from this guy is a lot of rad away. Handful of bottle caps, super mutant aviator cap. 
Uh oh. Stim pack. He doesn't really seem to care. Protect and serve. So if Virgil's not here. That's what I was thinking too. I don't think he would be a super mutant if he had Radway. Rad Scorpion meat, that's good for healing. Unauthorized approach and identify. I thought we were cool. I you know, I thought we were friends and you just had to blast me. <laughs> it said I was detected earlier when I stole that stuff, so I thought I was good. It's always the rad scorpion meat. Approach. Oh, you I bastard. I guess it's because he slightly turned there to face me a little bit more. That is oh, that was an accident. That was an accident. I, I meant to craft on the table. <laughs> I like how I'm not an intruder until I steal something. Mutant bracers, don't need any of that. Glowing blood pack. 75 rad resist for 10 minutes. Or a stim pack. I have to go with the stim pack, right? Hell yeah. And there's not much here. There's not much here. Not much more than I thought there would be. Mentats are good. I mean, mentats are good for selling. But the thing is, everything that I collect, everything that I collect and intend on selling, the drawback is I, I, I'm, I'm only buying myself time. But I should take everything. You're right. I should be taking literally everything. Going back to the Children of Adam, getting as many uh, rad away that I can, and trying to get into some combat encounter in order to level up. Turn around, you fucking robot. Don't turn around, you tin can. Please put your hands in the air and prepare for disciplinary action. Unidentified oh. intruder. Screw you, robots. <laughs> Piss off. Not much over there anyway. A couple of cups. What about this terminal? There's gotta be something good here, right? Spotlight control. No intruder detected. Mm, are you sure about that? I am certainly intruding. So now the plan is we have this place discovered as a fast travel location. We can make drugs here if we have, you know, the right stuff to do so. Oh. Hi, Mr. Robot. Can you please turn around so I can steal this junk? Please, mister. Protect and serve. Wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. That does suck. I can't sleep. Or what if we try the workshop spawner in here? Will it break the game? 
Welcome home. We're using Virgil's cave. This is our home base. Now, how am I going to recruit anybody to live here, though? I don't know if I can do that. This feels like cheating. I'm not a huge fan of building in here. I don't know if I like that. I need to get all these electronics though. These are going to be kind of valuable. Vacuum tubes and whatnot. Is it cheaper to get the ingredients to craft healing items? Unauthorized materials. Or... This dickhead robot to stop looking at me for three seconds. That is stealing. Fuck you, man. Come, I'm. What did I do? I'm. Can I just kill this robot? Am I strong enough to kill him? No, <laughs> I am certainly not strong enough to kill this robot. Like, if I just bought two blood packs, I can make two stim packs. Or glowing fungus. Wait a minute. Three glowing fungus. There was glowing fungus when I first got into... Yes. Wait a minute, guys. Okay, there was glowing fungus when I first got in here. When I first got to the glowing sea, there was glowing fungus right on the outside. So hold on. Here's my plan. The second I leave this... Oh, no. The second I leave, there's gonna be a... There's gonna be a death claw right outside the second I leave. So what I could try is... Possibly I could sit down and wait for a day. I could wait 24 hours. Just sit here in this chair, wait for Virgil to come home. But no, we have to be able to... Let me think. Let me think. We can hop out of the cave. Do a little bit of damage to the uh, death claw, And then... One sec, real quick. Okay. I am still recording. I just wanted to make sure do a little bit of damage to the death claw and run back inside but something tells me that this death claw is going to be static is it possible to get the death claw to come inside and get shot at by the turrets i don't like the turrets odds of winning that fight please work Please work. Yes. Oh, okay. Edge of Glowing Sea works as a fast travel location. Now I just have to make sure to not get hit by anything or die or take on too many radiation. <laughs> too, too much radiation will kill me within a few seconds. I need to find glowing fungus. I know for a fact there was some glowing fungus out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I know it's out here somewhere. No, those are feral ghouls. Those are angry men who want to kill me. Fungus, fungus, fungus. Where is the fungi? Like I slipped up.
I thought wrong. Does anybody know where uh, any glowing fungus might spawn? I'm sure I'm sure that there's known locations within the glowing sea. It's the glowing sea. Glowing fungus has to be here. I'm dead regardless, but come on. This is bullshit. Got about a minute left and I'm dead. Not the end of the world. Check my armpits. Oh, that's what the flashing glowing thing was. Oh, <laughs> ow, bonk, right off the metal piece. Okay, this is really tough. Am I gonna leave the glowing sea? I am not. So what I'm gonna do is pull up, uh, oh, thank you so much, Lara. We'll see, this one will probably not be out for quite a while. We'll have to see, we'll have to see how it turns out. So, okay, what I'm gonna do right now, guys, I am going to, Brandon, I'm gonna take your advice. We're gonna pull up a glowing sea. Detailed map. When, uh, wait, Desmond, what do you mean? When am I leaving? Oh, we're not leaving. We're, we're not leaving the glowing sea, not at all. No plans. Glowing sea extended. No, we don't want that. Oh, the keyboard clicks. That's a feature on, um, oh, here. That's a feature on the bra. I use Opera GX. That's my browser. This doesn't really help. The Oxhorn video of the Glowing Sea. Uh, glowing Sea. Glowing Fungus Locations. All out four. Or actually, what I should be doing is... Yeah, here we go. Glowing Fungus. Glowing Sea. The word sea does not register. Damn. Honestly, Opera GX is a, uh, Opera GX is a, uh, that's a sponsor I would absolutely do. I genuinely love using the, uh, map. Aggressive Sheep, your song is playing in a couple seconds here. It ended up playing Boulevard of Broken Dreams MIDI. Okay, so I'm just on the Glowing Sea wiki. Largest highly irradiated area resulting from the detonation of a single nuclear device in any of the Fallout series. So... Okay, there's an astoundingly awesome tales issue at the crater of Adam. Don't know if we found that, but that'll give us another bonus to rad resistance. Two stealth boys and three mini nukes in the rocky cave. Uh, we we must have missed a mini nuke in the sentinel site. Virgil's rifle is in the rocky cave. Two Gauss rifles if the player character is at least level 32 and has either the Skylane's cargo key or a locksmith perk at level 3. 
there's not a lot on this page. Let's go to the Crater of Adam. Do they have a quest? This is just the quest to go talk to. Just that's just the quest to go talk to what's his face. If you're talking to Mother Isolde or Brother Ogden will slowly remove any radiation from the player character. What? Hold on. Whoa, whoa. You see this? Talking to Mother Isolde or Brother Ogden will slowly remove any radiation from the player character. What? And okay, I was gonna say, Crater of Adam plays a pretty big role in Far Harbor. Talking to Mother Isolde or Brother Ogden will slowly remove any radiation from the player character. God, Far Harbor was so good. Far Harbor was fucking awesome. Did anybody in here play Fallout 4 and not play Far Harbor? Because Far Harbor is... If you were going to rank the Fallout games, Far Harbor, if you count it as a separate Fallout game, it is the second best Fallout game behind Fallout uh, New Vegas, in my opinion. Far Harbor was awesome. Really, really fucking cool. Let's try it out. Let's try talking to Mother Isolde, Isolde, Isolde and, and see if it help, helps our radiation. Heej, you only, you only have the base game? That's no problem. Uh... I, I like the base game, but definitely if you enjoyed the base game, I really suggest Far Harbor. It's really good. Okay, Ogden or Zolde? Word of Adam's glory must be spread to all. This is huge, if, if this actually works. I hope it wasn't some bug. Where, where is she? <laughs> am, I, am I gonna die before I find her? Where is Zold? Zolde. Mom! Mom, your daughter is dying. Please help me. Oh, oh God, is that you? Ogden. Excuse me. All those seeking Adam are welcome. Or is it something more tangible you require? What have you got for sale? Whatever Adam provides for us. It is not much true, but you may find something of value. All right, let's see. Let's see. Do I like uh, Fallout Shelter? Not, uh, not really. I'm not, I'm not a big mobile game guy. Plus, my phone doesn't have enough space on it to play games. The rad ticker did stop. My screen is still pulsing because I have low health, but that might just because of... Uh, that could be because my health is naturally just low. Right? My health won't refill, even if the radiation goes away. Now, does this mean it just stops my radiation from going? Or does it actually heal my radiation? Let me think it over. If that is your choice. <clears throat> if you are in That need, did not help. Then it is my place to aid you. At cost, of course. <laughs> 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 Mid-conversation just fall over. Well, it looks like I'm not getting into the club. That sucks, too. I caught them in the middle of a storm. Oh, this sucks. If it doesn't work... <sighs> Or maybe it just goes so slow. The world will be shown Adam's glory. Yeah? I need to speak with you. What do you need of me, child? Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. You are kind to offer, but Adam has provided us with all that we need. No, 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 no. Mom! Do you have a moment? What do you need of me, child? I need you to just... 
talk with me. All right, I'm not gaining radiation right now, but it doesn't look like it's healing. Which, oh man, I thought we found, that actually stinks. I really thought we just found the answer to it all. Is it moving? I can't tell. Hey, hey, you, health bar. Figure it the fuck out. Relax on the radiation now, okay? You understand me? I'm getting sick of this crap. All right? I have an objective to accomplish, and I need your... Did it change? Did that work? Uh, Desmond, I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what you mean. We aren't leaving the glowing sea, no matter what. No, I'm not... <laughs> I was I'm talking to the health bar. Tell me more about Adam, if you would. Adam gave birth to this world and all worlds. And within this world, he gave us the promise of infinite rebirth. We are, all of us, universes without count, waiting for the division to bring them all into being. We spread Adam's word and his gifts to those throughout the Commonwealth. They will see the truth of Adam's glow. I don't think it's working. Uh, so... Okay, so that didn't work. Then I have to audible. All right, let me go back. Let's go back to the wiki page. The crater's inhabitants react extremely lethargically when under attack. While stealth killing a single enemy in most hostile locations will immediately alert everyone in the area. If witnessed, the crater's cultists will only retaliate if one of their own is murdered in plain sight, not more than a few feet away. The other inhabitants will simply continue whatever they are doing after the murder and will even greet the player character when they approach. Due to the ambient radiation, the player character cannot use any of the furniture to wait, even if they are equipped in a hazmat suit. The in-game boundaries of the crater do not match up exactly with the crater shown in the map. However, the map markers are still correct. Not much here. Fantastic. Not much here. Okay, so... The glowing sea is extremely dangerous and should not be explored at a low level or without adequate supplies and protection. The entire region is heavily irradiated, causing at least 10 rads a second in most areas, killing unprotected players in less than two minutes. Drinking water from local sources in the glowing sea inflects 10 rads rather than the normal three rads, and immersion in open world water in open water inflects 20 rads a second rather than the normal 10 rads a second. To survive, one should bring an ample supply of rad away and rad X to minimize exposure. Further protection can be achieved by wearing rad resistant armor, such as power armor or hazmat suit. The power armor gives better protection from enemy attacks. Completing the secret habit house, grant an unlimited supply of my mysterious serum, which heals 10 rads per second for one hour. Perhaps more dangerous than the radiation is the local wildlife. Yeah, we found that out. We've learned that much as well. We can't leave. We have to start. So, Finesse, we can't leave and equip a hazmat suit because we have to start and uh, stay. So we, we fast travel to the glowing sea right after the intro, completely naked with no loot at all. And we got to, you know, make our way through and survive. So, I mean, the one ruin we went through was great. But now our power armor is dead. Which is a problem. So I've lost all... This is what I was afraid of, too, is getting to a point where the power armor is dead and we are out of... We're out of uh, power batteries. What, what are they called again? Cores. Cores. Power core. Nuclear core. I don't remember what it was called. Nuka core. Who knows? Fusion core. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, so let me try a sec. Let me get a map of Glowing Sea Fallout map. Let's try this. Get a map of the Glowing Sea. What? No. 
that's not what I want. Oh my gosh. I keep clicking on the wrong thing constantly. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is a good map. This map is pretty good that I have pulled up. So, decayed reactor site, you'll find nothing more here than several insects and a glowing death claw. Ruined, buried church, you will only find one chest with, chest with ammo and weapons inside. There is a death claw walking around. <laughs> All of these sound awful. Federal surveillance K21B, big institute laboratory. To go in, you have to take the key from the suitcase and open the hatch. Inside the complex, you will meet several synths and find X01 power armor. That's not a bad idea to try and get there, but I don't know if we can fight the Institute. We're certainly not strong enough. Uh, Atlantic Office is ruined building occupied by ghouls. One glowing legendary. You will find here some valuable stuff. Fusion core and safe with ammo and advanced safe. Building has four levels. You can get there using two different elevators. Okay, but it's just a tunnel without any interesting things. Several red scorpions around. In the neighbor red rocket station, you will find a master level safe. Cave, full power armor with fusion core here. This is what we hit. This cave is what we found. So we found the power armor in this cave right here. That was a big save. Nothing interesting. Vertebrate wreckage. Hope's March Pentecostal Church. I think this church is where we got absolutely destroyed here. Occupied by a big group of ghouls. You'll find many valuable items in a safe here. Relay tower activated using the terminal. Destroyed aircraft. Deathclaw nearby. O'Neill family manufacturing. Kill two red scorpions and find a hole in the ground. Enter the cellar. Kill very strong ghoul. Use the terminal to open the door in the building on the surface. Kill another ghouls. One glowing legendary. Ammo and weapon from the chest. Sentinel site. This is where we were. You visit this place by completing one of the Brotherhood of Steel main quests. This place is occupied by a big group of ghouls. You find several valuable items here. Astounding awesome tales. Yeah, so we, we got through the Sentinel site. Crater of Adam. We got here. Mother is old day's house. That's where we are right now, which has astoundingly awesome tales. We need to get that magazine as well. Take whatever bonus it has. You're right, Fulgaman. They all sound too dangerous. Should we restart, get the armor, and go? No, no, no. I can't restart. I can't restart. I can't do it. We've come too far. I'm too stubborn. I'm way too stubborn to restart. <sighs> so, what I'm thinking... The, uh, actually, you know what I need to find out? I want to find out if they refresh. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm trying to find right now how fast things reset. Because that first place we went to, the Sentinel site, is a fairly safe place for us to get through. A little too epic of a song. I just wanted some background music. Apparently it's 20 days. So it, I have to check if the Sentinel site is marked as cleared. If the Sentinel site is marked as cleared. Let's check that real quick. It's marked as cleared. So 20 in-game days. And it will reset. So what I want to do right now is get the Astoundingly Awesome Tales book. 
from Mother Yusolde's place. I'm taking her explosives as well. We're gonna need those. Bingo. Sounding like some tails. Extra five damage against ghouls. That's beautiful. Back to the rocky cave. Now we're back in Virgil's laboratory. I know. It is a lot of waiting. But I don't think we have another choice right now. And I am not restarting. Protect and serve. I got no plans on it. So what day is it in game? It is 1025 2287. That means we have to get to what? I have no clue, honestly. Fisting, are you are you okay? <laughs> are you all right, man? Join me in the marathon wait of 20 consecutive days. This should be fun. Hey, one down. One down. Wasn't that easy, guys? Have I played the New Vegas DLC yet? So, I've played Honest Hearts. Is it Honest Hearts? Is that the one with, uh, I don't know, the edgy uh, guy wrapped in bandages? Played Dead Money way back in the day. And... I Last time I played on my, like, casual New Vegas save, I was just starting Old World Blues. All right, guys, isn't this awesome content? Just sitting here and waiting? We get to do this together. We get to do this together and hang out. Yeah, when I played through it, I, I killed Joshua Graham <laughs> right at the end. I really wanted his armor and his pistol. I wanted his whole outfit and his pistol. So I killed him and I took it both. So everyone in the entire DLC ended up dying. I was like, nope, I want it. I wonder what this part will look like in the video. Uh, I will... I will cover it in maybe five seconds. I think you have to play Honest Hearts without leaving Zion. I wasn't a huge fan of that DLC though. I thought the story of it was decent, but I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. No, I know, Swiss Cheese, somebody told me that. When I told Chad, I was like, yeah, I just killed Joseph. I really wanted his outfit and his pistol because his pistol is incredibly OP. So it just was like, everyone was like, dude, you get it automatically. And I was like, hey, you know what? I was like, if anybody is going to perform genocide in this DLC, it's me. Everyone dies. So what we're doing right now is we are waiting for 20 in-game days to try and get the Sentinel site that we originally cleared out to clear back out. Because the enemies in there aren't too difficult to take out. And I need to get more XP. I need to level up. I need to get more loot. I, I need more money. I need more rat away. I need to just buy myself more time. That's what's happening right now. Also, it, the, the music keeps, it keeps overlaying. Then, uh, it's overlaying with the music in game. <laughs> Fogelman, what's less interesting than this? Do I have the health to get through that? I'm not sure. But what I do know is that if the whole entire zone resets and is no longer marked as cleared, then we can f we can loot the medic boxes. Remember, there were a couple of medic boxes in that place. The biggest problem 
is that I can't use my power armor suit. That's what I'll struggle with. All right, I started waiting, what, on the, we, I think we're down, we're through nine days. We're almost halfway there. Oh, Blarg, I Blarg, I don't really, I don't really know what I did. I zoned out for half of that DLC and I just was like wasting everything. I wanted the XP. That was really it. I wanted the XP, <laughs> so I was just like, boop, boop, boop. Die, you move, you die, or what is it? Um, from that one Simpsons episode, you live, you die. You live, you die. Ghost, I think we, uh, I, I think we understand at this point that you are high. I think you have made that very clear. Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> Oh shit, what did I do? What did I just break? What is 20 days from the 25th? That's six, I have to get to the 14th, right? Oh, I like this tune. I forgot what game this one is from. Can you make time go faster? It is Wii Sports Resort. Thank you. Yeah, it's from uh, the archery. I used it in the last video, the GTA video. Yeah, ghost, go drink some water or something. Fuck. It's not my chat's job to make you come down from your high. Relax. Take it easy. Take a deep breath. You'll be all right. Feeble, how are you? Yeah, how do you not, how do you not like water? Water is great. Feeble, how are you? Good to see you. We're almost there. I'm gonna be so upset. If we get to the end of 20 days and it doesn't refresh, I'm gonna be upset. <clears throat> No, it is rare. So it's really rare in games to have like a kind of jamming guitar tune like that. So whenever I can find one, I try to save it. And I, I don't know why I was using Wii Sports Resort or looking through it. I remember I did play that game a lot way back when. So I was like, there's gotta be some good music in this game. Do I believe that New Vegas should have a canon ending? Uh, no. No. I don't see why. All right, I think we have like, what, three more days? We've been sitting in this chair for almost an entire month. That's like me in real life.
like there's usually enough time like if they ever did do an indirect follow-up to new vegas which i i hope if they do it's not new vegas 2 that kind of bores me don't reboot new vegas do 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 like another another west coast uh, fallout though would be really cool but it would be so far in the future that i assume in a nuclear apocalypse right if time passes and a lot of time passes events aren't necessarily recorded very clearly so you could even refer to events like the battle at hoover dam and you could refer to it vaguely and some people could say oh yeah no the legion one or some people could say oh no the ncr one or some people could say i heard some psychopath had an entire group of robots and won the battle single-handedly i'm with you blarg i actually think it would be cool to leave america i think uh, i think that that could be pretty cool Europe would be fun. Uh, the Fallout London mod should be pretty cool if it uh, if it finishes. I hope it finishes. I hope all those reboot large mod projects finish. They're all just cool stuff. Although, I don't know. Maybe it shouldn't leave. Because I do like the, uh, you know, 1950s Americana aesthetic of uh, of the Fallout games, of the modern Fallout games especially. I think it's a fun theme. Can I describe the taste of spinach? That's a tough one. All right, I'm gonna wait one more day just to be safe, but I'm almost positive we're over 20 days now. Mexico would be cool. South America actually would be badass. That's my pick. That's my pick. Yeah, if we're taking. I don't know. I don't know why. Like a like a. I mean, like, you know, they could just do whatever. I I don't really. I just want it to be cool. That's really all I care about. All right, here we go. This is gonna be. I have very very limited time. But I did get a lot of loot from Virgil's place. So I'm going to go back to the Children of Adam spot, talk to the vendor, and sell everything that I have for as much rat away as possible. So we have to talk to... What's his face? Get all the rat away that we can. And I am already... I'm gonna, I have to take Radix to survive just this run if I have it. And I, I don't have it. Man. If you are in need, then it is my place to aid you. No fucking way. Oh my gosh. That is just crazy. Sentinel site is still marked as clear. That scares me. That scares me. So you're wishing for a nuclear winter? Is that what you're saying? That would be cool. Snowy fallout. Okay, it'll always be marked as cleared. Fingers crossed, guys. We really need this. We need this to work out. We are desperate at the end of our ropes here. There's a medical crate right in this room that I need to respawn. <sighs> please, 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 for the love of God, please. Am I gonna lose? Have I lost the challenge? Oh man, guys. Oh, uh, not stim packs. I need rad away. Stim packs are cool, but I need rad away. 
How much health do I have? Seven. <laughs> There's seven health. I need glowing fungus. Glowing fungus. And for 20 days. 20. I'm not giving up. I'm not. There's nothing anybody can tell me that'll make me give up. Apparently there's a mini nuke that I missed in here. If there's a mini nuke that I missed in here, that's worth a lot. And I'm also not convinced that I didn't go there. I, I'm, I, I might have gone to the crater at the wrong time. If I can get some form of rad resistance... Then I can get through, get to the trader, buy a ton of rad away, but even at this point, if I get back here, what's the point? Nuka cherry, squirrel on a stick, great. Just what I needed. Nuka cola. I needed soda. Oh, this is such a bummer. This is a bummer. I've never gotten pushed to my limits like this from one of these challenges. And right right now it feels like I'm really it's really taking a lot to get through this. But first and foremost, Okay, this is a brand new room. God! <laughs> Damn it, man! I got my head ripped off, but we have a chance. We have a chance. And I did save right before this. No more. No more. There's a bed. There's a bed in here. Come on, there's gotta be right away. Just one right away. One. All we need. Stim pack. <laughs> Stim pack. Are you shitting me, man? Rad X. Rad X, not too bad. Take a quick nap. All right. He did. He high fived my face and it fell off. I'm out, of, I'm out of ammo now. I used all five rounds. So if I find any enemies, I'm screwed. I've already been through this way, though, so it should be relatively safe. Cheese gang or spinach gang? I mean, I love cheese. It's a genuinely enjoyable treat. Low torch. I mean, we found Radex. Is the Radex going to protect us enough to get us to the merchant of the Children of Adam and sell a ton of stuff that we have? I don't. I need glowing fungus. That's what I need, and I'm not sure where to find glowing fungus. I'm not sure where to find non-fungible fungus. Streamer trunk?
that's what I thought. Yes, when I ran by, when I found the power armor, I swear, I ran by glowing fungus. All right. I have seven HP. Let's see if this works. Six impacts. Why so much radiation? Come on, get over the junk. In the end, we have Hi. All, all those seeking Adam are welcome. Or is it something more tangible you require? We're in the conversation. I'll take a look. Sure. Very well. Okay, we're in the conversation. That's okay. Purified water. I think I'm going to keep it. I want to keep some of my healing items. I don't want to get rid of all my healing items. Stealth Boy can go. Boulder. Tesla Science. Sure. Take it. Really wish I didn't have to sell my junk, but the junk has to go for now. I have to be able to buy myself some extra level ups. collecting a lot more junk than I thought I did. Frag grenade, frag mine. I think I want to keep those. I need some sort of fighting ability. I can get two. I can maybe get two. Trice, how are you? How are you? Welcome. Almonds are an underrated snack. I like almonds. Blark, why charisma? And I, I am fairly heavy into endurance. I'm fairly heavy in endurance right now. I think I have eight endurance. So I need to make up 54 caps right now. Looks like my explosives are going to have to leave. Damn. The great divide. All right. So I've taken two right away. Charisma, yeah, Charisma would help for buying and selling to get right away. I need a fusion core. <laughs> now I need a fusion core. In order to get some kills, I just got rid of my explosives. Apparently, though, I can kill the children of Adam and get away with it relatively easily. How close was I to dying? Zero. I have zero health. <laughs> I have zero. It's gone. No more. Empty. But if I don't want to waste any healing items, what I'm going to do is go back to the Sentinel site. I'm going to go back to Sentinel site. Run in here as fast as I can. And I'm going to hit the beds in the basement. Yeah, Fogel, I got the first radiation perk. So I have the Children of Adam outfit. That gives me a bonus. I got Astoundingly Awesome Tails. 
that gave me a plus 10 to radiation. Radiation resistance, that is. And then I took the first perk for another plus 10. I don't think we need to restart, Brandon. It's going to be really hard regardless. Have I been to Atlantic offices? Is that in the glowing sea? I don't remember. I don't remember seeing it on the map. So I can go through here. Okay. What's the uh, what's the situation at Atlantic offices look like? That might have to be our next stop. If I can get in, grab the fusion core and get out in time, that could be really useful. There's also a mini nuke somewhere in here that I could desperately use. I'm not sure where. I've never been in this room before. This isn't where that feral girl we killed is, I, th I don't think. Dead body, eight ball, more rags. There's Radaway in here. Woo, we found more Radaway. Okay. That's it. Soap. Soap. Blood pack. Soap counts as antiseptic. It really sucks having to get rid of all my crafting stuff, though. I had to do it to stay alive. I had to buy myself more time. Wait, did I miss a rat away? Infested by ghouls, it's five floors, and the core is in a generator on the roof. Well, <laughs> that's about the worst possible uh, scenario. Little hidey hole there. Another decent little find. I'm about to strip this place for every single item possible. Does anybody know, or can anybody help me with the location of the mini nuke that's within this bunker? Because the wiki told me that there was one. And if I'm able to find that, that will buy me another thing of Radaway. I haven't found a weapon this whole time. I haven't found a single weapon. There's large nukes in here. I wish I could just drop these onto the onto the glowing sea and call it a day. <clears throat> Mission complete. Objective accomplished. All right. I really think I've scoured this place for everything. <clears throat> I'm close to. I should. <laughs> I should block the word Nazim. I'm so sick of seeing it. Dead meme. This is tough. I think we're getting there, though. We have some progress, but again, my progress will be completely stifled. 
I can only explore so much. Might be able to get to the roof without going in. Okay, let me look up where that place is. I'm gonna first get back to my cave so we can game plan. You cannot fast travel when enemies are nearby. We're, we're doing this now? We're really, we're really doing this now? You're gonna make me go all the way back through the Sentinel site again? Is that what you wanna play at game? I'm getting done dirty. If I jump, do you think the elevator will outrun me and I'll die by fall damage? Ooh, I think that was close. Well, at least we're training our endurance as we run through here. For the umpteenth time. I'm starting to learn the sentinel sight like the back of my hand. Granted, I don't know what the back of my hand looks like. You know, if you told me to describe to you the back of my hand, I think I could describe the sentinel sight better than the back of my hand. Who knows what the back of their hand looks like with any sort of accuracy? It's kind of weird. Right? Isn't it? As I go the wrong way, I'm lost. Through here. Oh, you gotta be bleeping me. What? You can't access the mini nuke without starting the Brotherhood's quest. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it was right here the whole time. Well, I'm taking your enamel bucket now. It's the price you pay. The price you pay for confusing me. Everyone in chat, you owe me. You now owe me enamel buckets. Not buckets made of enamel. Buckets for the purpose of holding enamel. Or is it a bucket made of enamel? It's probably that the bucket is made from enamel. That makes more sense. Man, I was feeling like an absolute stud when we cleared this place out. I thought that I had this, the answer key. I thought we solved it. We were gonna get through. It was going to be completely fine. And now I'm learning that thank it's an absolute time, disaster. Floyd, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Ready to check that. All right, I'm done checking this place. I'm officially moving on from the Sentinel site. And one more. One more sweep of this little middle area. Uh -huh, it was a good call. Cigarettes and ashtray. I have to go all the way back out this way in case you missed it because there's an enemy at the other exit. And with no weapons, no power armor, I'm essentially useless. I'm screwed. I haven't found any weapons at all. I mean, I have a rifle, a pipe rifle, but I don't have any ammo. Where are you guys going to find enamel buckets? Um, hey, maybe, you know, find yourself a sentinel site and start looting it. All right, let's get over to the rocky cave. We're almost level four. The big open door? Uh, Nethel, I'm not sure what you mean. The big open door in the sentinel site? I think I've been everywhere in the sentinel site. Duff, thank you so much for sending your stream over. How'd your stream go? There's some more loot that I can take in here for some quick cash. This robot is a pain in my ass, though. Protect and serve. Screw you, robot.
Wait for him to walk away. Alright, he didn't turn around. Got a good amount of stuff there. Alright, now game plan. Uh, what was the name of that place with the location the offices somebody mentioned? Atlantic offices. Alright, thank you. Let's pull that up on the map. Pull that up on our handy dandy map of conquest. Atlantic offices. Antic offices Fallout 4. Uh, it's just so I set Automod up a while ago, Duff, and it it just picks off everything. And over time, I've just had to not block certain things that get blocked. All right, Atlantic offices. It's in the glowing sea. Uh, that roof, if it's up on the roof, <clears throat> yeah, it looks like we can get up there. Notable loot, there's a fusion core in the generator on the roof. And it looks like it's to the left of cave, which we have cave discovered. If we can fast travel to cave, we might be able to grab glowing fungus. Glowing fungus is the hardest thing for us to get in terms of making our own rat away. So if there's glowing fungus there, we want to grab it. We want to be fast. And then we want to get over to Atlantic offices. We'll hit a level up at some point. So maybe we try and discover capsized factory as well. I have some rat X. So we have rat X to give us a buff. We have to be really, really quick though. Really efficient, really quick. Cave, head west. Capsize Factory, Atlantic Offices, it looks like a tall office building on the map. So we should be able to recognize it rather quickly. All right, you guys ready? Is it irradiated inside? Most likely. We're not, we don't actually plan on going inside of it. I mean, maybe we do. Maybe I just need to grab as much loot as possible. Capsize Factory has eight rataways. Hmm... So is it worth it to hit Capsize Factory first? Or Subatomic, I like that strategy. Let's get the fusion core, get our power armor so we can we can fight in combat. The power armor is our only way of fighting in combat because we can deal melee damage and pretty efficient melee damage. Then we can go there, quick save our game, try to get as many idiot savant, you know, points to activate. Here we go. Okay, that is not the cave. This is a different cave. So we have to go cave and the northwest. It's like right in this area. So if we hit this one, we get rid of that quest. Shouldn't be a very far run, but again, any enemies that we run into are going to absolutely just rock us to death. They're going to kill us to death. Here's where we were. Glowing fungus. Brain fungus. Glowing fungus. Oh, let me grab it. Okay, we've got enough glowing fungus. I need one more glowing fungus and we can get one more right away. Boom. There we go. North. West. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Rad Scorpion right there. Want to avoid the Rad Scorpion. Here is uh, the first building, the office building somebody mentioned. There's also an elevator right here. I don't know where this elevator goes. I'm going to give myself a full save. Maybe we come back to that. That could be important. Also, I'm an idiot. I may have screwed myself. Never mind, I do not have... Rad X. 
I don't have Radex like I thought. Okay, another red scorpion right there. Holy Christ, running around here is terrifying. Two red scorpions right out there. Let's try and avoid these guys. There we go. Okay, we've got them both on the map. They're both marked. We're moving. We have to hit. Here's the problem. If we get the fusion core, are we going to be able to fast travel or will enemies still be nearby? Big radiation hit there. Let's try and discover it if we can. Capsize factory, thank you. Getting the fast travel locations marked is pretty important. Big hole right there. Who knows what that is? I'm gonna take a. Ra I have two rad away. Since when do I have two rad away? Jocelyn, it is. It's it's been uh, honestly ridiculous. Uh, just because. We're so limited on the timing that we have and what we can do. I was going to try and use a mod to build a base, but that's been impossible. Okay, can we get up onto this roof? Give myself a quick save. This looks slanted. Can we take this and climb it up? No. Shh, Nikes. Gotta be quick. Be quick. Can we get up here? Uh, we gotta be, we gotta be able to use this. Come on. No, don't do that to me. Whoops. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have gone this way. Unless the elevator. Going up. Going up. On the roof. On the roof. Fusion core. Got it. Oh, oh my God. And off the roof, Nora goes. Cinematic way to go. Okay, I need to get my sprint back. You're right. I, I, the, I'm, I'm honestly glad that I died there. We get the quick save back. Dodge that dickhead. Yeah, good luck getting down here. All right, we're gonna hit the roof. Get it, grab the fusion core, and I'm out. I'm out, I gotta run, uh, break the encounter hopefully. Yes, oh my gosh, it let us fast travel. I did not think we were gonna be able to get out. We're gonna take a lot of radiation here, but we're at least gonna get one full charge in our suit. None will escape the great divide. Full charge. In the end. Okay. Now, this fusion core buys us a ton of time. Now, where do we want to go after? Where's the next play? Nice man. Right. No, Brandon, 100%. We have to conserve this battery pool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that chat is covering up the alerts right now. <laughs> sorry, guys. So it uses what we learned earlier is that it uses a ton of power when I use vats. That's what ate through the battery before. Using vats, shoot it. I've actually never played Persona. I just really like the soundtrack and using it in videos. Sprinting. Uh, sprinting marks. <laughs> I'm sorry, pool. So Capsize Factory, I think, is the first location we want to go to. We only need to take out one more, one more feral ghoul, and we're going to level up. I believe I have one rat away in inventory right now. The goal right now, we have to never run out of rat away. If we run out of rat away, 
then what we do is we have to sell all of our junk that we need to use to craft. But what I should do first is get back to the cave. I need to get back into the cave. <gasps> Wait a minute. I need to craft right away if I can. But I had to sell all of my junk, so I might not be able to. Yeah, hell no. I'm not even I'm not even gonna walk the power armor suit down in here. It's just a waste of battery. So I need anti sep I thought that was in the soap. Adhesive cloth. Do I need adhesive to make Protein plastic glowing answer. fungus? I only have one purified water. Oh, I drank the purified water. What was I thinking? Yeah. Hey, that's why we like idiot savant. That's why we like it. We got our level up. Okay, level four. Level four is a tough one for me because cap collector isn't bad, but medic, right? Wouldn't we want medic? We want our rat away to go as far as possible. Actually, Jocelyn, so I've just started watching a little bit of Settled's videos, the region locked runescape that he does, and no. I wasn't thinking it. Uh, I wasn't thinking about Settled. I actually hadn't seen any of his videos. A lot of people compared it to Swamp Lettix. It was uh, it was a Call Me Kevin video where he did one chunk Minecraft. That was the real one where I said, what if I did that in Skyrim? Because if you look at the thumbnail and the title of when I did it in Whiterun and then compare it to the first one chunk Minecraft that Call Me Kevin did, I, I tried to emulate a lot of... Uh, just how that video was like presented thumbnail and title wise. Okay, so we're gonna take medic. This automatically gives us more time. It gives us way more time with being just being out in radiation. Saves us a ton of time. Protect and serve. Okay. Yeah, soap doesn't have antiseptic. I don't know what I had before that was antiseptic. It does, the way the Skyrim skill grind works is it's very runescapian. Yeah, because you kind of do the same thing over and over like a runescape grind. So now what I think the play is Let's see, how much radiation? I think I have 500 radiation right now. Can I not actually see, in terms of numbers, what my radiation is? It's a thousand, a thousand total radiation. So now instead of 300, it takes away 400. Now the plan. is to get over to those offices where the six or eight right away are. We have to keep track, keep count of how many right away we find when we're in there because we're going to know that we can always go back in there to find more right away. We're going to have to fight, so naturally we'll get some XP. Pray. Pray that we get more Idiot Savant activations. That's what we need. I'm so, I'm like, I'm having way too much fun with this challenge. <laughs> this is turning into a much less a funny break the game challenge and this is like a we got to really think this one through. So this will be a pretty fun, and I guess another fun twist to the region locked videos we've been doing. Could you imagine this on survival difficulty? <laughs> it would be absolutely wild. A Braxo cleaner, toothpaste, turpentine. I think it was turpentine. Yeah, we're not even on survival. It would be so hard. We're on normal difficulty. Capsize Factory. If 
feels so weird to just get rid of the gun. Romer, feral ghoul, feral ghoul, feral ghoul, feral ghoul. Not the worst. Wish I had some rad X, but I also wish I had some ammo. I could shoot those. Things. Wait, hold on. All right, I'm going to risk this. I have to make a risky play here. Fuckers. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm down to 20 health and we gained about 10% rads. Not the worst possible outcome. There's still more of them. Two feral ghouls right there. 20% health. Mentats and Psycho. Okay, we'll use that to sell. There's glowing fungus! Ah. Could have done a little bit better on that last fight. I took more hits than I would have liked. Another 10% damage. I took about as much damage in that fight as the first round. Lock tight. Three rad away. Radex and Mentats. Five. Okay, there's three right away left in here. But there's also one glowing fungus, two glowing fungus. Can I find one more glowing fungus? Because that counts basically as one more right away if we find the other ingredients. Yep, there we go. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. That was not a part of the plan. Okay, so this is pretty tough. I have 5% health. He's doing about 5% per hit. I'm gonna go Psycho. Rad away. I'm gonna take two rad away. I just wasted a rad away. Stim pack. Although, who knows, maybe the right away will take too long to activate, because it does take time, and he'll hit me enough times. I'm, I'm certainly gaining rads right now. I'm gonna have to take the medics to keep me alive. I have to get through this glowing one fight. Come on, idiot savant. Damn it. It would have been really nice if that one went. That's okay. I think we made it out of there relatively decent. It could have been a lot worse. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I used too much? Do you guys think I used too much stuff there? Because I think all encompassing, I think using the Molotov earlier saved us a lot of damage on the first fight. We have 60 health, almost no rads. We used two rad away, but we're coming out of here right now in total with enough glowing fungus for six rad away. So that's four more than what we... We came in here with one. We have three right now. What's in here? 
I actually would have died there though without the medics. I got really close to dying. I still have a few emergency stim packs. So we're still relatively okay. Flip lighter, paintbrush. There's gotta be more in here, right? I got that glowing fungus. Did I get the glowing fungus in this room? Or was I too distracted by the fight? And we used about 10% of our battery. So overall decent. There we go. There's the glowing fungus. We still have 90% of our core left. And I think that there's more to this place up here. <coughs> I wish I had the lock picking perk now. Really wish I had that perk. How do I get to that staircase? Around here? Come on, take it easy on me. We took out the glowing one. There can't be much more in here, right? Fingers crossed. There we go. There there was the last three. So we got all eight right away. More glowing fungus. We're going back to our cave to reassess. Okay, we made it through. We made it through. It sucks that we fed. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, guys. Wait. Remember, this is about economic resources. In terms of still having Psycho activated, still having Medex activated, we have all the stuff. We're not going to lose it. I need to run. I need to run across the way over to the other office building and kill as many as I can there. I think it's worth it because I still have Psycho active. It hasn't worn off. If it warns off right when we get there, so be it. But I just found more Psycho. More of that. We gotta be quick, though. Let's move. Be as quick as we can with it. I wasted I wasted too much time, though, after the first Psycho I took. No Rad X. I'm gonna sprint a little bit here. I don't wanna waste too much battery, but I am gonna give myself some speed boosts. I know there's one glowing one in here. <clears throat> that guy's gonna be a little dickhead. But this first hallway, there's some basic. Some basic boys. Like this guy. Can't believe I let him get a hit on me. Did he really just do like 30 damage? All right, we're dropping in. Oh, there's like nothing in here. Uh, move, 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 move. Come on. Nothing. Nothing? A whole lot of nothing in this joint. nothing in here. Ah, oh, this place was kind of a flop. I don't think that the psycho has run out. And there's going to be a big boy out here. Gonna be a guy that we don't want. Red scorpion meat that heals a lot. Oh no. Oh <laughs> shit.
Gotta keep him stumbling. Be nice if you missed an attack. Like that, thank you. I'm dead. Savant, please. I'm gonna quick save. <laughs> Booyah! All right, advance save. Take note of where the advanced safes are. Eventually, I might have to take that perk. That was huge. That was huge. That was really, really huge. We needed... Oh, my gosh. I don't know if we would have gotten him without the uh, Psycho. So we used the Psycho. We were able to keep it. We got over there. We took out an incredibly tough Feral Ghoul. Putrid glowing one? That might be as tough as they get. Can't exit your armor here? Okay. <laughs> the baby roll. No, this is how, uh... What's it, um... Uh, how, uh... NBA young boy fans play Fallout 4? Okay, so we're sitting here now with... Eight Radaway. Eight Radaway. Uh, so lock in the fusion core that we're running on right now. That's where we got it. We had to grab it earlier um, But we cleared out the place next to it and still had some of the drugs active I believe psycho and De uh, Medex I had both of those active so I figured let's go do it now and see how long the drugs will last us So we don't have to waste more of them. So we're able to save on all those we got idiots of to activate on the big boy we're almost level five already. That's pretty big. So now, it's a matter of, well, let's see what we got from there. Did we get antiseptic? No. We didn't get any antiseptic. Refreshing beverage. Removes all rads and cures addictions. That's better than Right away. I could save this for an emergency. If I get all the way, I could let my radiation get as low as possible. And then maybe get one of those instead. For me right now, it's 530. Yeah, I got to tell you guys, though, this is a pretty awesome challenge. This is a lot of fun. And I'm not sure where I want to take this because this one is playing out so much differently than the other videos will. So part of me in my head goes... What if we made this, you know, like a two, three parter? Because this is gonna take a lot of thought to get through, as challenging and as fun as it is. But I think for today, I'm gonna take a break. I wanna try and grind out the next upload for the channel, because like usual, I am behind on it. Um, but. This one is uh, this one is really turning out to be a pretty exciting challenge. I believe our friend Mickey the D is live right now. He is. He's doing shivering aisles. Hell yes, he's doing shivering aisles. Um. So I'm not sure. The only thing that makes me nervous about doing a multiple part region lock is the fact that it kind of takes up a big chunk of the channel. So we'll see. I think that this played out and could be really captivating because think of all the gameplay that we just went through and how we had to talk it through and think about it and the strategies. This is why I love doing these because I really do rely on chat 
to help me out. You guys were awesome today. Thank you all so much. Thank you to anybody who was watching today because you guys make these so much more fun. Now, I would love if you came over with me to our friend Mickey D's stream because uh, he's doing Shivering Isles, and this should be a ton of fun. We're at 60. This is the largest raid ever. Well, we have 86 in here, so I'm taking it. Thank you guys so much. Have a good weekend. Hopefully see you tomorrow.